Hello everyone, I hope you are well. My name is Ariane Arsenault and today we are making a super cute holiday project. I am gonna make some solid bubble bath chocolate chip cookies with holiday sprinkles. So the recipe that I am using today, if you're a maker, is by Handmade in Florida and it is part of our class on making solid bubble bath. I will leave all of the links below. This is an affiliated link, uh, which helps support my YouTube channel. And I absolutely love this recipe. I have tried many found online, um, and this one is the best one that has worked the best for me so far. So I have made some donuts with some glaze. Uh, you may have seen my video, and I had some leftover glaze. So I set it, um, I colored it, and I set it on parchment paper to set. So I will chunk that up to make the holiday sprinkles and in my super vanule mold, I have made some chocolate chips. They look like real chocolate chips. This is crazy. Uh, it's actually the glaze recipe from uh, Handmade in Florida's class and they pop out. They're made of cocoa butter and other ingredients and they just look like, like chocolate chips. So I need to tell my kids before bringing this back home that this is not edible. <laughs> Let's start by getting the sprinkles ready to go. Um, so I have, let's remove this tray. I have them here. So I'm gonna take a knife and I'm just gonna cut them. I'm gonna use my big, big knife uh, because I like it. <laughs> I'm just gonna. To give my sprinkles an extra festive look, I'm going to coat them with a, it's called the Ultra White Sparkle White Mica. It is by the Fizz Fairy and it is an echo glitter. So I am adding a little bit to the green and a little bit to the white and red mix. And then I'm gonna gently stir and this will make my sprinkles extra shimmery. I absolutely love to use cocoa butter in my solid bubble bath. First, it gives a really nice firmness to the recipe, but also it is super moisturizing. So it's like having a solid bubble bath and all the bubbles that goes with it, as well as enjoying a bath truffle all at the same time. Let's unmold the chocolate chips. <laughs> there they are. I absolutely love these molds and I've been using them for many of my embeds, my fruit embeds that I use for my soapy cupcakes. I have so many shapes. I have cherries, strawberries, raspberries, uh, cranberries, blueberries. I also have little flowers, gummy bears. I have all of these cute shapes and they are so flexible that it makes removing anything super easy. On my workstation, I have my dry ingredients here in this bowl that have been pre-mixed, sifted, and combined. And then I have my surfactant, my, my wet ingredients that include a surfactant. And my colorant combination for this, because I want this to be cookie dough color, is a combination of chocolate uh, brown and yellow number five by the Fizz Fairy. Um, so, and it looks dark right now, but it, when it will be in the powder, it will be much lighter. I also have a batch of drizzle waiting to be mixed with cocoa butter. And here is my cocoa butter. This one is by Baraka Shea Butter. It is fair trade, uh, handcrafted in Vienna, and it helps to support women communities that are really hardworking. And especially in these times, I think that it is important to take a closer look at where our supplies come from. So let's add the cocoa butter in the glaze mix. Voila. And also into my wet ingredients. Let's 
stir in the drizzle. I am using a combination of two different scents for my cookies. I am using Cookies and Cream Pie by Kendora and Santa Snack by Bee Scented. I will put my drizzle into this little container so that we can drizzle it on the cookies. And now I'm gonna slowly incorporate my wet mix to my dry mix and speed this up for you guys so you don't sit there and watch me mix this for an hour. Here's the dough, so it's ready to go. I'm just gonna use my ice cream scooper to portion out equal sizes and use the slow rise in this recipe to my advantage. So each cookie will be set on the baking tray. <laughs> it's not really a baking tray, but it looks like one for sure. <clears throat> Pat down the cookies. Here are the cookies. Aren't they adorable? They really look like they, they have been baking. <laughs> so I put my cocoa butter glaze just in a bowl with lukewarm water, just so it didn't solidify. Just gonna dry that so we don't have any water falling on the cookies. Okay, let's do one up close so that you can see better. So let's do this one right here. Here's what I do. I start at the center of the cookie and then I kind of go around working my way out and then I'm going to press three chocolate chips, two facing up and one facing down just so that it looks like a real cookie. And then I'm going to add some colored sprinkles. These are absolutely adorable. My kids are going to freak out <laughs> when I tell them that they can't eat them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. If you want to give a try to these solid bubble bath uh, recipes and technique, I really recommend that you sign up for Zahida Maps class. Uh, it's down in the description box below. And I actually made two batches. And after making the first one, I made this one. And look at how, how solid already the cookies are. I will let them harden up until tomorrow so that they dry and become rock solid. And then they will be available here in our shop. Um, these are super cute. I'm thrilled about the way they turned out. They look so yummy. I just want to dip them in a, in a mug of hot cocoa uh, or, or pour them in my bath. So to actually use these or any other solid bubble bath, you actually take the bubble bath and you run hot water over it. It will kind of melt down. You can crumble it. You can also chop it with a knife and then just add it to the bath water. I personally don't chop it. I just like to let the hot water like pour over it as I fill my bathtub. And sometimes I'll put it in a strainer so that I don't burn my fingers when I fill up the bath. And when you have enough bubbles, you just turn off the water, put it aside, let it harden up for the next bath. I think that these would do two to three baths because they're they're pretty heavy. They're about 55, 60 grams each. And usually with my scoops that are 
40 grams, I make two bath. So it's also eco-friendly, no bottles, no like minimum packaging. Uh, we sell them in, the, in glassine bags and people just fill up their bags with however, uh, how many bubble bath they wanna get. So on this note, I will tell you goodbye. I will see you soon. I have more videos coming up. I'm super, super happy to be able to create so much content with you guys. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up if you enjoy watching. Take care, be careful out there and have a safe and happy holiday season.